Hello Virgo, this is Eva at Munga des Oraca, and this is your separation, no contact reading, which could be yours if your sun, moon, rising sign, or Venus is in Virgo. I'm going to start with the Tau Oraca to identify your energies and your person's energies. Whoever you are thinking of could be a soulmate, a twin flame, any kind of love interest. And uh, let's find out what is showing up for the two of you. Okay, if you do know the I Ching, this uh, oracle is like the 10, 21st century update of that 4,000 years old oracle. And um, I love it because it's so much easier to understand, especially because of the pictures. So Virgo, whether you are new to the channel or coming back or have been here for a long time, uh, you are very welcome. I am very, very happy that uh, you chose to read uh watch my readings and uh, I am usually channeling if you like my style please uh, show your love by commenting sharing subscribing and uh, every way possible so the channel can grow more your energy right now shows up as discipline it's about uh, time to take the bull by the horns create a strategy mobilize forces, exert authority, and define. Now, this um, energy is showing me that, you know, like this samurai, or God knows who he is, holds um, a sword. And the ace of swords is about clarity. So I feel that... Um, uh, sometimes, from time to time, and all of us does this, we shift to one extreme, it doesn't work out, and then we shift to the other extreme, it doesn't work out, and then we find the golden middle way. So maybe you've gone too soft, you spread out too much emotionally, uh, you uh, didn't um, allow your masculine to create the balance, and now you are shifting into too much of a masculine energy, too much res restriction. And we will find out a little bit later, well, actually, right now, what does this mean? Just a card to see in what way you are getting too... Um, too much into the masculine energies. Nine of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles. So I feel that uh, you are um, almost isolating yourself right now. So this con connection relationship may have not worked out as you expected. And instead of keeping your options open, you are just not, no, I'm not doing this. I'm shutting the door. I'm not meeting anyone else. I am just done. So it's almost like um, getting to a half, being a bit too harsh on yourself. Of course, it, it uh, hides disappointment and um, how much you really wanted it to work out. So you need to look into the deeper layers of why you feel the way you do. Now let's see how your person feels in this separation, no contact situation. They have, wow, three cards. Oh my God. Okay. Keeping still. So they are trying to meditate. It's about self-renewal, self-acceptance, detachment, serenity. So you are pulling back your energies, locking yourself up into your castle, and they are uh, disciplining themselves and detaching from you. Very interesting. And then we've got dispersion and development. The dispersion is about restoring harmony, diffusing negativity, 
dissolving divisions, revitalizing, lightening up. So this is a process for them. They look within, they try to find out what is creating issues within them. And then they are arriving to the development stage, which is saying gradual progress, slowly but surely, adaptability. So... Um, I'm not sure how to sum it up very quickly. Um, it's more like they are undergoing a very um, rigorous um, process. They could be doing um, practicing martial arts. That's that's what I am getting. Um, really trying to control. Uh, their image, how they come across to others, like um, taming their inner forces and, um, and trying to move forward, trying to make progress. But you both are getting into this uh, in a different way, but this discipline, you can't feel emotions. Emotions are causing you pain. Very differently, but you both are approaching, uh, finding that yourself in that place. Okay, so let's see. Just one card for them, again, about clarify. Okay, two cards, fine. Ace of Cups and Six of Wands. So the reason why they do this um, process is to... What I'm getting from Spirit, come out as a winner from the situation, either by finding love for themselves or finding that love with you. So they want to win regardless. And they also they are rebirthing themselves. So it's a bit more than just ego winning. They are really trying to do something right here. So what is the energy between the two of you right now in this separation, no contact situation? Ten of Pentacles. And this, is, this can be a card of abundance. Could be financial could be um, a long-term love connection, settling down, finding um, a nest, building a nest for the two of you. Um, so this is interesting. The bottom of the deck is the Queen of Cups. You both have feelings for each other, genuinely caring about each other. Your, the way you see them is the three of pentacles, so it is very likely to be a third party situation. And the way they see you is the ace of wands that you are on fire. So it could be that you are in the public eye, they see your work, or uh, somehow they talk to, their, to your friends and uh, they hear about you so they see you glowing and uh, and also growing this um, wand is bringing new leaves the way you uh, sorry the what your intentions are is eight of cups so as we mentioned earlier you are very strongly um, restricting, restrict, can't say this word, restricting yourself. I want to know more about this. Let's just put it there for now. These are your energies. And their intention is the emperor. So as I said earlier, they want to 
uh, maintain a picture of themselves to you and to the outside world that they are strong, they know what they want, they are ruling their own empire, everything is under control, everything is fine. But when someone really wants to create that picture, there is a question why they are so keen on that. What is behind that? It could be lots of insecurity. Now, on your side, the fears are the three of swords. You don't want to get hurt again. You don't want to be broken hearted. On their side, the fear is the four of wands. This is taking the relationship to the next level. Uh -huh. Becoming more and more interesting. What is the obstacle? Seven of swords. None of you are saying the truth fully to each other. There are hidden things on both sides. And the, the possible outcome is the high priestess shutting down, pulling away. That's exactly what you are doing right now. So there is nothing different um, about that. But... Uh, It feels like it's going to continue, this separation, no contact energy. Okay, so let's look into this a little bit more. It's quite interesting. Spirit is just telling me you could be in a twin flame connection. It may be another cycle of pulling away from each other. Um... This time, though, I feel that you are choosing yourself, Virgo. And um, what is this emperor energy on their side? The moon. With the ace of swords. The Nine of Wands and um, the Six of Cups and the King of Cups there. So, yes, um, it's possibly the answer to our earlier question. Why they want to maintain this uh, picture of authority about them at any cost? Because they don't want to be seen weak. They do care about you a lot. They do love you, but they can't afford to, sh to be seen like that. What I, I'm getting from spirit is being drunk on emotions. They can't afford to be seen like that. The moon with the Ace of Swords, I feel that um, they are finding out things about themselves as the time goes and um, they are making progress in that also re-examining the connection between the two of you so these three cards which showed up at the beginning keeping still dispersion and um, the development are very strong energies and they put in the work doesn't matter what yeah this martial art picture like very very disciplined that's what um, is this energy like um, when you are practicing martial arts it's it's a real art because you need to be graceful and also you need to have the power. You need to be strong and you need to be relaxed. So I feel when uh, the emotions come into the picture, that is creating some kind of confusion. And that's why they need this um, meditation to find out more the self-acceptance that it's okay to feel uh, feelings and um, it's like they are approaching an abyss and uh, they don't want to fall in so they are very cautious 
it that keeping still it's like if i move my foot can slide and i can fall down into the depth of the valley or something so um it's uh, feeling not in control in the land of emotions And they cannot afford to sleep at all. So why do you have the seven of swords, both of you, as the obstacle? Okay. So there is the tower. I believe that this breakup happened because one of you couldn't be vulnerable enough and I am feeling that you were go were vulnerable and now because it didn't work out you are like no I'm not going to do that anymore I'm not going to show my uh, vulnerable side to anyone anymore because they are not appreciating it but your love interest also is str struggling just in a different way they know they need to become more vulnerable and this breakup is bringing um, light bulb moments to both of you there is the ten of swords the knight of wands and the word card here so it's like um, both feel like it's a backstabbing none of you expected this breakup to happen um, you both want it to be a light-hearted and a nice connection and you both know that however it went on before it cannot go on any longer and um, you both need to come clean and say the truth to each other how you truly feel that is key no more hidden stuff for any reason. And you went out, you were brave, you showed yourself, and now you are like, no, 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 I am not doing it. It didn't work out, it didn't pay off. And it's not true, Virgo, because now they are trying to connect with their emotions and trying to change. So it wasn't in vain. Now let's see... What is this high priestess as the possible outcome here? You both love each other. Maybe one of you is better at expressing it, and that would be you, Virgo. And the other one isn't good at all at expressing it. You are both hurting for different reasons. You because you expressed it, they because they didn't. And they feel they cannot show you because they are the emperor and they cannot show emotions because that's vulnerability. The High Priestess is clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and the Page of Cups, with the Queen of Swords at the bottom. So it's like both of you want to bring an offer, trying to make peace with each other, but there is this huge pile of burdens between the two of you. So it's like one of you bringing the coin, the other one bringing the cup with some kind of surprise, but there is this wall between the two of you. And uh, right now, I don't think that wall is going to come down. This queen of swords, which is the bottom of the deck, is thinking it through intellectually trying to find a solution also connecting with inner wisdom it's almost like digesting things and not talking right now with each other looking within intuitively feeling it out did i do the wrong thing really this is what i felt was right was i wrong so these are the doubts creeping up on your side Virgo and on their side it's um, it could be a serious breakthrough 
Okay, so I want to know with this um, high priestess, what will be the next stage? We've got opposition, the attraction of opposites, and the small is beautiful. Wow, this is amazing. So opposition, opposite viewpoints, personal differences, a communication gap, disharmony, misunderstandings, estrangement. That's exactly it. That's what's happening right now. And uh, this communication gap is very, very important. You are a, a good communicator, Virgo. You like to express yourself through words and talking through when something goes wrong. They possibly are not good at that. And that creates this uh, opposition. And then the attraction of opposites, seduction, temptation, magnetism, a passionate encounter, meeting halfway, coupling, sexual union. So we asked for steps. What's coming after the high priestess? High priestess is shutting down, not showing anything outwards, but the lot is going on, on in your inner world separately. Because you are in this opposition, and uh, when you get into opposition, you know I told you about being in one extreme, shifting into the other, and you need to find the golden middle way. Um, and opposite forces attract each other. So when you Virgo are in a vulnerable place, and they are in a power place, that's also attraction. So... When these opposites attract each other, then union is going to happen. And the next one, small is beautiful. Find the extraordinary in the ordinary. Keep it simple. Use discretion. Slow down. Tend to the details and pay attention. And look at that. There is this butterfly. And this is springtime. These are, these are um, mysterious. So this is the time of transformation for the connection between the two of you. Um, you both are paying attention within what is happening inside of you. And this is like this red line is a direct line between heaven and earth. Being connected. Both of you are connected. Both of you are transforming. And um, there is something positive coming out of this situation. Wow, the bottom of the deck is increase. Sharing, reaping rewards, overflow, expansion, flowering, encouragement, fertile ground, abundance. So out of all of this shift and change comes the increase. Now, what is interesting, I don't want to guide you through all of the numbers, but the discipline you have is seven, and their first card out was keeping still, which is 52. Five plus two is also seven. So both of you are in this state of connecting with heaven and earth, trying to get guidance. And then the outcome is 38, three plus eight is 11, and 44, four plus four is eight, and then six plus two is also eight. So this um uh, separation holds lots of potential for breakthroughs on both sides and for union as well so don't forget we are looking into the future right now there are walls between the two of you both of you are looking within and trying to find answers from within and this opposition, being in two opposites, is going to turn into an attraction between the two of you. So it's almost like you are uh, pulling away right now from each other. And when you reach the two opposite points, you are going to be attracted. So, you, you know, it's expansion and um, what is that? Re not reduction. Um, it doesn't come to me right now. But you understand this is a pulse. And this is like um, a natural thing happening right now between the two of you. So I, I really like, like this, Virgo. This is um, something for you to consider not to be ashamed of, that you showed your true colors. You were authentic, honest, and vulnerable. That's commendable. 
That's amazing. So finding a little bit more discipline is not a bad thing. Uh, exerting authority is not a bad thing, but find the balance. Do not go all over to the other side where you are being far too harsh on yourself, you are punishing yourself. So you two are uh, asked to be authentic. That's the takeaway. And I'd like to ask this oracle, which is my romantic love and relationship quote. It's uh, an instant download on Etsy if you would like to have it for yourself. It's partially messages from your love interest, partially from your um, romance angels. And let's see what is their take on this reading, on these energies. And then we are going to continue to Patreon. Before that, I will tell you who could be dealing with in this situation. So this attraction of opposites is really, really cool. Right, so what, the, what they want you to know, either your person or the romance angels. Ah, oh, this is gorgeous. The only thing we never get enough of is love. And the only thing we never give enough of is love. And it is so, so good for this reading. Because you give and you, they take. And now it needs to be balanced out. So you're both getting and giving. Your voice, I don't think you will ever understand what your voice does to me. So... Yeah, this is very, very mm, heart-churningly beautiful <laughs> because the two of you are so into each other but scared of your own shadows and um, that keeps the two of you apart. And of course, there could be lots of other reasons which we don't see right now. I am not saying um, you are doing anything wrong, but this is what you two are learning. The, how to bring these opposites together and find the um, common dominator. Is that it? I don't know. I am just getting messages from spirit. And um, find uh, the way back to each other. That's what it is all about. So give more love, receive more love. Giving and receiving needs to be in balance. So that's what I have. Let's see who you could be dealing with. So we've got the moon card. So we've got Pisces energy, Aries, Cancer, Capricorn and Aries. Okay. Yeah, this is so far what we have. Okay, Virgo, I am going to continue on Patreon. Thank you so much for being here. If you wish to have a personal reading or coaching session with me, please let me know. And I look forward to connecting with you soon. Bye for now.